lookalike who has spent three decades playing King Charles has shared the interesting offers he has been made over the years. Guy Ingle has traveled the world doing impressions of the monarch and has even been part of the celebrations during the opening of Terminal 5 at Heathrow Airport. Over the three decades, he has been a lookalike for the 74-year-old sovereign, has been offered some rather peculiar work contracts, which he has declined. Now, the 62-year-old from Bedfordshire has shed light on the wacky offers has been made and also given an insight into his lavish lifestyle as the king ahead of the coronation on May 6. But there are things I wouldn't do, regardless of the money on offer, he said before adding, one time, I was asked to appear in an X-rated film, much to my amusement. I laughed at the offer but politely declined. Guy went on to tell New Magazine, I've always had a great respect for the royals, so it never portrayed the king in a negative way. But while there are some jobs he deems to be unacceptable, has appeared in Hollywood movies alongside the likes of Leslie Nielsen as well as starring in a Bollywood movie. Thirty years later, he still becomes nervous before appearing in front of people as he always wants to do Charles justice. He explained, being a lookalike is a lot more than just looking like someone. I have to be able to make people believe that I am the king and that requires a lot of research. I've watched an endless amount of videos and am constantly looking at new pictures of Charles before every gig just so I can copy his body language. I can only take on Charles' voice by clenching his jaw and raising his eyebrows which automatically sends him into autopilot. However, his job doesn't come cheap as he splashed out on a 400 pounds hairpiece which allows him to morph into the head of state which takes around 20 minutes to put on. Away from his work, Guy believes he doesn't bear a resemblance to the king, apart from a bald patch they both share on their heads. In the past, Guy had considered retiring but since the death of Queen Elizabeth in 2022, he recalled his work has really picked up and described watching the funeral of Her Majesty as bittersweet. While it was such a tragic moment that we lost a remarkable woman, it signaled a new chapter of Charles' career, he said before continuing, and when Charles is busy, I'm busy.